Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. And in this video we are taking a look at the very highly anticipated Doctor Strange Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends classic Doctor Strange figure. This one has been a very, very long time coming and I cannot wait to crack him open and take a closer look. So let's go. So straight out of the box, here we go. You have your Doctor Strange figure and he is awesome looking. It comes with a load of accessories. First up is the are these two um, kind of effect pieces. We also get in the box two alternate hands, so one closed fist and one of the kind of holding, like gripping hands. We also get this really cool Wanda Watoon as well. Uh, the detail on this is really nice and the little heads at each end kind of articulate as well, so you can kind of spin them around a little bit. Um, but that's a very cool accessory. Uh, we also get the Axe of um, Angaramas, I think it's called, Angaramas. Um, I can never, never pronounce it properly. But the detail on this thing is really, really nice. Um, a unique sculpt for this particular figure. Even the detail there on the handle. We also get this blue head. And for those of you that don't know, it literally is just a mask when he kind of went for more of a, a superhero-esque look um, to conceal his identity, even though his name is Doctor Strange. Um, and then we also get this kind of meditating look um, head as well. Oops, drop that. Um, but the detail on these heads are phenomenal. Um, so yeah, so absolutely stacked full of accessories, but let's take a closer look at the figure himself. Now the first thing to note is that the cape is attached to the body. You cannot take this cape off. Um, I don't know if you could with a little bit of force, um, but uh, I don't know, it might leave a mark, so I'm not going to bother uh, trying. Um, there's a lot of articulation, all the standard articulation you expect in a 6-inch male Marvel Legends figure. Um, the detail down the side of the cape is really nice as well, with little markings in there. The arms are pinless, um, the legs are not, um, but he's got his gloves and he's got his kind of uh, spell cast in hands as well. So he really is on the money uh, for a Doctor Strange, classic Doctor Strange figure. Now we've been asking for one for so long from Marvel Legends. Uh, we didn't have one since the uh, the Toy Biz days. I think it was the uh, the Galactus uh, wave, the Builder Figure wave that we originally got that Doctor Strange with the huge cape. Um, that yeah, it was just a bizarre, a bizarre cape. But anyway, less said about that, the better. Let me just swap the heads out so you can see the kind of meditating head as well. The heads pop on and off quite easily, but obviously just be careful because you have got the collar of this cape as well to work against. And just a closer look at the standard head. Like, there is literally nothing I can complain about. This head is perfect. It's almost straight out of the comic books. Um, so that's his meditating head. Just take that one off and I'll put his mask on as well. Um, it's a funny one. Not a lot of people know or remember the mask, but there was a, a comic book run where somebody basically stole his identity and so he had to use a mask. Um, it's pretty cool, but it's, you know, I don't know. I'll use that for something. I'll definitely use it for something. Um, but I think the head that I'm going to stick with is the standard kind of uh, one that comes on the figure at the beginning. Um, a lot of articulation here, so you can kind of get him into all different kind of spell casting positions. Um, He's just really nice. Uh, now we have had a comic Doctor Strange previously. Uh, it was about, f about five or six years ago, I think it was. They released the Defenders version. So this is obviously the Defenders costume, Doctor Strange. And that is a costume that came out in, uh, I want to say 2011, 2010 maybe. Um, so it's not brand new, but obviously it's not old. Now the thing with this one is you can actually take the cloak off. The cloak isn't attached to the figure. Um, you've obviously got to take the head off first though, so I'm not going to bother messing around with that just yet. Um, but the differences that you can see is obviously quite a lot. They've got completely different bodies. Um, the new one has the thinner legs and uh, a new sculpted um, chest. And the older one obviously is just on your standard kind of bucky mould. Um, both come with the kind of the, the spell casting fingers. So apart from colour, no real differences there. And obviously they've got different head sculpts as well. The cape is actually the same mould on the new one it is attached to the body as I previously stated so let's just swap the hands over just so that we can see him holding the accessories I think it's really cool okay this is a Walmart exclusive but I think it's really cool that they've absolutely stacked it full of various different accessories and alternate heads and stuff it's gonna be a lot of fun to pose and photograph and they can see him with the uh, Wonder Watoon it holds it quite nicely um, and there'll be a handful of different things that you can do with that for your displays or your photographs um, and then the acts of uh, Angaramas, Angaramas which was actually found on the moon funny enough in a, in a witch's cave or a witch's crypt I think it was I can't remember um, 
doesn't hold that as well, but still it's a great accessory to have. So let me just put the uh, spell casting fingers back on, just get them into a pose to finish the video up. But yeah, this is a phenomenally good figure. Definitely worth picking up if you get a chance to get hold of one. Uh, you will not be disappointed. It is the long overdue classic Doctor Strange done absolutely perfectly to a T. So thank you very much Hasbro and the guys at Marvel Legends. If you're enjoying the five minute figure reviews, please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support is very much appreciated and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.